Coming to you live from the north, more specifically, Burlington, Vermont. We are gonna head into Canada today. We are here in Montreal, Canada. This is a place that I've been wanting to come to for so long. We've just arrived. We are here in the beautiful city of Montreal. Just amazing, beautiful landmarks. It is so pretty. Montreal, I've noticed, is like the most aesthetic city ever. It is so pretty and quirky and elegant all at the same time. We made it into Canada. We just went through customs. We're in Canada. I'm out of the country. <laughs> French border agents. They all have French accents. That was kind of cool. We're coming up on these crazy looking bridges here. See the bridge coming into view just in front of us? Oh my gosh! Yeah. The new bridge! <laughs> it's so cool! So exciting! It's being called the Golden Gate Bridge of Canada. The Samuel Day Champlain fully open for the very first time. Built to replace the original Champlain Bridge, the new and iconic bridge serves as a gateway from the United States to Canada, while representing one of the largest and most important transportation infrastructure projects in North America. 160,000 vehicles that cross it every day, $20 billion worth of goods that cross it every year. With over 50 million vehicles crossing it every year, Champlain Bridge has the highest levels of traffic in Canada. The 3.4 kilometer span is considered an engineering marvel. It's designed to last 125 years. The stay cables in the central tower used to support the main deck are the signature elements of the bridge. Le pont Samuel de Champlain, c'est aussi grand que la piste d'atterrissage à l'aéroport Trudeau. Le mât est aussi haut que celui du stade olympique. C'est vraiment une œuvre majestueuse qu'on s'est donnée. The Samuel de Champlain was delivered in four years, considered a huge achievement. It took four years of work and more than four billion dollars to get to this point. This new Montreal landmark, which links the island to the South Shore, has a lot of people feeling proud. Beautiful, it's wide, and the view of Montreal is amazing. The drive toward Montreal is the one that provides an unparalleled skyline view high above the St. Lawrence River. Check that out. Montreal is actually a pretty sizable city. This view is just breathtaking. The bridge is actually designed to go on an angle, so you get an amazing view of Montreal. Wow. What do you think, Harrison? Le pont est très très large, c'est un pont qui fait 60 mètres de large. C'est probablement un des plus larges ponts à auban jamais construit au monde. This is beautiful, and I think a picture. Bike lanes and a pedestrian crossing. Cyclists have access to the path year-round between the South Shore and Montreal. The new bridge includes tracks for the new REM light rail line and a dedicated bus lane. Overlooking the river and the stunning Montreal skyline, the new bridge already gaining fans. We love the new bridge. Pretty modern. <laughs> Beautiful, I like it. I was uh, very happy and proud to be part of this uh, big project. It's wider, it's higher, it's quite nice. Do you think it's something you'll be using? Yes, <laughs> of course. This is a huge deal for the city of Montreal. They've been waiting for several years for a new bridge to replace the old one. It was supposed to last like 100 years and only lasted 57 years. They've put so much money into the bridge to fix it every year, but now that's why they decided to build the new one. We need a new bridge to the South Shore. We've all heard that battle cry before. The Jacques Cartier and Victoria bridges were bulging to capacity with traffic. So in August of 1955, the federal government announced that it would build a bridge over Nuns Island to the South Shore. Not everybody was keen on the bridge's location, but Montreal port manager Guy Baudet had no doubt in his mind. That's the proper place for the bridge. Because it serves both east and west, the Carry Boulevard. Linkage to the Dakari Expressway came when plans for Expo 67 materialized. The four-mile structure was built in eight sections. By July of 1960, superstructure work began, but since floating equipment was not permitted in the Seaway Channel, the central span was erected by cantilevering out from the main piers on each side. By September of 1961, the structure was beginning to look like a bridge. By the time the Champlain Bridge, the Bonaventure Otter Route and all access routes were built, the price tag was $52 million. Today a new bridge in access would cost $1 billion. It could be a long time before a new bridge changes the face of Montreal. À l'automne 2013, on a détecté une fissure sur la poutre de la travée 28-29. La fissure était tellement avancée qu'il fallait intervenir très rapidement. En période de quelques semaines, on était capable d'installer la super poutre. It was possible to do all this in a very, very short time because that bridge over there was falling apart. The new bridge with a length of 3.4 kilometers will be built within 42 months. 
four years, it's very rapid. It's been a fast track project, day shift, night shift, 14 hour shift, the job had to be done. In order to stay on schedule, concrete and steel parts were prefabricated in a modular process. We opted for a modular construction, essentially taking the full bridge and breaking it out into Lego-sized blocks. Why? Because it's really a question of speed. When you're prefabricating off-site in a factory, well, you get a better component. In order to be able to achieve that, we have a strong logistics team for the transport. Specialized equipment has had to be made specifically for this project, including a huge machine that carries these 650-ton footings placed onto boats. Operating on the river involves working on maritime barges. The river itself is very wide, not, not very deep, a very strong current. C'est quoi votre défi, le courant? Ah oui, le courant, c'en est un. Ici, au Pile 21, le courant nous provient de l'île des Sœurs, tandis que du côté Brossard, ben, il nous provient de Brossard. So basically, we had to build some temporary jetties in the water. We wanted to create uh, work platforms in the St. Lawrence River to allow us to eventually build the, the new bridge itself. To build the West Jetty, we had to protect the ability of the fish to, to migrate. So within the West Jetty, there are three fish passages. Piece by piece, we had to bring all those modular segments, put them in the locations in the river, the piers, the foundations. It's here on the West Jetty, we fabricate 38 out of 74 footing and pier starter that will be installed at the bottom of the river. We dig a, a hole in the middle of the river in order to position the pier there. Our main job is to uh, clean all the sediments there. Once the precast team has completely finished uh, marine preparation, we attach the footing to the uh, floating foundation installer. We use a six uh, 15 ton anchor that allows us to remain uh, very stable. On top of this foot, these footings, then we build the pier starter which will allow us to emerge out of the river. And then, on top of these pier starter, we will stack the prefab element. All pier segments are fabricated in Quebec. We either transport them directly to site by road, or we transport them to the Port of Sorel, put them on barges, and then bring them up to site. And then essentially installs them one on top of another. We often refer to them as being uh, Lego-sized uh, blocks. They fit in a very specific spot in the project, so they're not interchangeable. Then we continue with the pier cap and the superstructure, which include about 304 pieces, mainly coming from Spain. The pier caps, uh, those pieces are manufactured in Spain and sailed once a month uh, through the Atlantic directly to Port of Montreal. The pier caps are the two feet sections that are connected in the middle. They allow to transfer the load from the superstructure to the pier legs. We have 37 pier caps on the new Champlain Bridge and uh, each pier cap weighs around 400 tons. We definitely have a lot of challenges working on the water. When you have to erect pier caps with a single crane with a given space that we have, and you have some complex maneuvers to do. Mother Nature plays a huge role. We constantly have to monitor the wind speed as well as the speed of the river. And then during the winter, we had to constantly monitor the ice flow, which increased the risk of any water operations we are doing. Finally, we have the steel girders, and there's 601 of those, all weighing between 40 and 80 tons. They are all fabricated here in Quebec. On the 3.4 kilometer bridge, we have over 600 box girders and over 9,600 deck slabs. Upon delivery to site, the box girders are delivered as single units. We take two to four single girders and we connect them into one big assembly, which is on average 105 meters in length and could be weighing between 200 and 250 metric tons, at which they would be erected using cranes. Once that's completed, we start erecting the precast concrete deck panels. The deck panels vary between 2 meters and 11 meters in length and their weight is between 5 and 45 metric tons. And that's followed by asphalting and uh, final finishing. Wow! Là, vous êtes vraiment... Là, vous êtes presque à la hauteur du tablier. Là, vous avez tout fait ça. Qu'est-ce qui reste comme défi, là? Donc, le grand défi, c'est vraiment le pont au bas. So we chose a cable stage bridge to bridge very wide spans. We were construed to build over the seaway without encroaching on the seaway. Therefore, cable stage bridge solution was uh, the right technical option. The foundation of the main tower are a series of 42 drill shafts, which have been drilled 10 meters into the rock and which anchor the foundation of the pylon, which is made of two pile caps of about 950 cubic meters each. On top of this foundation, we will stack the precast segments in order to build the lower legs of the pylon. 
The main pylon is right in the middle of the river, so we have Montreal in the background, which gives us views that very few people are lucky enough to have every day. The, the tower head, the top section of the pylon, will be cast in place by six meter high lift. The main tower will uh, culminate at 170 meters above the river, higher than the Olympic Stadium Tower. The deck, backspan and main span are suspended to the pylon via the stay cables. So the main span and the backspan are balanced and hanging from the main pylon. Frédéric Guitard a vu d'autres. Le nouveau Pont Champlain le fascine et l'exaspère parfois. Il est responsable de la partie des hauts bancs. Tu en avais fait ailleurs des ponts Oui, oui, effectivement. Oui. C'est le plus compliqué. Euh, C'est un pont très compliqué, oui, absolument. Très, très, très compliqué dans un échéancier très serré. Pour vous donner une idée, quand on lève le segment ici, on lève 850 tonnes, 60 mètres de large. On a 15 mm de tolérance pour que les, les goupilles des, des pattes de fixation euh, rentrent euh, parfaitement aux endroits voulus. Bonne chance. Merci, Merci. bien. A segment is basically a slice of the deck which is pre-assembled and erected one by one. On this bridge, the, the segments are 60 meters wide, 12 and a half meters long, and each of the segments weigh around about 850 tons. Such big segments are probably the largest ever installed on any cable state bridge or similar structure. The installation of the segments is a real challenge. The erection of the main span segments is done with the, what we call heavy lifting system. The MLB is the one that uh, lifts the segment from the ground level to the bottom of the deck. The second element is the trolley that transports the segment under the deck from the pylon to the tip of the county level. The third system that we have, which is the most important one, is the one that directs the segments from the under bridge to the final position. Once the lifting is completed, the segment is bolted using 5,000 bolts. Working on, on such a project is in fact a, a privilege. My team and I always feel uh, blessed to be on, on such a challenging and, and rewarding project. After four years and $4.2 billion, the day arrived with a parade-like atmosphere. The inauguration of the new Champlain Bridge. Pure and elegant. Its inauguration comes 57 years to the day the first Champlain Bridge opened on June 28, 1962. 2,000 people work day and night to deliver it, more than 8 million hours in freezing cold winter conditions and extreme summer heat. Well before it opened to traffic, do you plan on walking all the way across? Yeah, not today, but I will. One day I will invite them. Some local and federal politicians decided to take a stroll on the new Samuel de Champlain Bridge. And then, at the crack of dawn, some of the first cars were escorted across. It officially opened at 5 a.m. We're here for the opening of the new Champlain Bridge. We have got the honor of opening this morning. We're going to have an all-electric vehicle convoy. 520 plug-in electric vehicles. Pretty cool. Le train va passer où? Au centre, un corridor complètement séparé pour le, le transport collectif, pour le réseau express métropolitain. The Réseau Express Métropolitain is an automated light rail project under construction in the Greater Montreal area. The REM will feature 26 universally accessible stations spread out across the island of Montreal and both the north and south shores. It will be elevated on the Samuel de Champlain Bridge. Trains will circulate every two and a half minutes during peak hours and every five minutes outside of peak hours. Good news for cyclists on both sides of the St. Lawrence River. The new link will provide a year-long bicycle path. Beautiful bike path. The ground is great. Awesome views. Uh, amazing seeing everybody uh, enjoying the uh, walk or the bike ride. Looking forward to using this a lot. I'm scared of heights, so it's a little scary, but I actually pretty, I really liked it. That's a nice path. That's a nice path. Great ride. So that's the best gift we could have. So thank you. Les lumières. Il va y avoir un éclairage architectural sur le pylône principal et sur les poutres de rive euh, dans le corridor euh, nord et sud euh, du pont. Il va être euh, modulable et avec des différentes couleurs. Just as this new superstructure opened, the original was decommissioned. Vintage cars from the year 1962, the same year the bridge opened to traffic, were the last vehicles to drive on the 57-year-old span. Eugene Diabo worked on the piers and the steel structure during the original construction. He's proud of what he accomplished. It's just the idea of putting something up. A little sad seeing it go. The next step is the dismantling of this bridge. It's a three-year process that's slated to begin in 2020, but it's a very complex procedure. 
C'est parti jusqu'au printemps 2024. Un chantier de déconstruction immense et complexe. Il n'y a pas d'explosif. On est vraiment dans un démantèlement délicat, pièce par pièce, de façon à minimiser l'impact sur les citoyens, sur l'environnement également. Rares sont les automobilistes qui vont s'en ennuyer. Même les cyclistes rencontrés ce matin sur les stacades étaient bien contents du début des travaux. Il faut qu'ils défassent parce que là, ça, ça, ça empêche de voir la beauté de l'autre. We know the Brooklyn Bridge in New York, we know the Golden Gate in California. I think this is going to be a signature landmark of Montreal. Êtes-vous fier d'avoir fait partie de ce projet-là? Oui, ça c'est une fierté qui est... Euh... Et ça se mesure pas. Je pense que tout le monde s'est partagé par tout le monde sur le chantier. On, on construit quand même un projet qui va laisser sa marque. Yes, sir! Some of the workers who spent part of their lives piecing this bridge together are celebrating. It blows my mind. You know, it's, it's, it's something that's spectacular. I think it's amazing what we've accomplished here with, with like 1,500 or almost 2,000 people in the past four years. We were faced with an in, incalculable amount of challenges, but every single one of them has been and is being solved. And the result speaks for itself. On a l'air heureux, c'est quelque chose qui est... Hein, c'est ah, un beau métier. Ça, c'est le plus beau métier du monde. Et c'est une passion. Il faut, tous les gars-là sont passionnés. Je suis vraiment fière d'avoir travaillé sur ce projet, le plus compliqué projet de ma carrière. Nous avons passé à plusieurs issues complexes, mais nous les manageons, nous succédons. I came to Montreal to do my Masters of Engineering, which helped me propel my career. So I'm proud and happy to be able to give back to Montreal and Quebec what it has given me and to be able to build a landmark bridge and give back to the community. I worked on many big projects before, but I'm especially proud of that one, mainly because of the heritage it represents. For the next 125 years, it will remain our faithful companion. This is an achievement that will change our lives for a long time to come.